हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट ब्लॉक ए हैज मास एम ए एंड इज अटैच टू अ स्प्रिंग हैविंग स्टिफनेस के एंड अनस्टिच लेंथ एल नॉट इफ एन अदर ब्लॉक बी हैविंग मास एम बी इज प्रेस्ड अगेंस्ट ए सो दैट द स्प्रिंग डिफॉर्म्स अ डिस्टेंस डी determine the distance both blocks slides on the smooth surface before they begin to separate so the surfaces are smooth there is no friction and further it is said that what is their velocity at that particular instance with when they separate from each other so initially the spring is uh, is unstretched and block a is let's say at somewhere here right so from here to here let's say that from this point to this point the spring is unstretched right and that unstretched length is l not in the problem statement then it says that another block b is pressed with this block a right so if if this is my block b and if i press this block b with this block a and then if i press both of these blocks and if i move these uh some distance and if i compress this spring to a distance of d right so let's say that the position of both of these blocks is let's say measured from somewhere here let's say from somewhere here we are measuring the position of both of these blocks right so initially if block a was somewhere here let's say if this was the position of block a right somewhere here and we if we are measuring the position of both the blocks from this particular reference line right and why we are considering this as the reference line since the spring will not further compress from this particular point right so let's say that from from here to here let's say the spring uh, the block a was initially at a distance of x right so this is the initial position of both the blocks when they are just put together right and now when they are compressed and when they are moved some distance from here to here until this particular point so the spring is compressed is deformed at distance d right so this means that now when both the blocks are moved together some distance so let's say that from here to here this length is d right this is given in the problem statement so this is d and from here to here the spring is compressed and the change in length this is the change in length which will be x minus d so this is x minus d now when both of these blocks are released so they will move with some acceleration and let's say that the acceleration of both of these blocks in the uh, x direction is let's say a x is equal to let's say a since both the blocks will move with same acceleration right so uh, the acceleration of block a the acceleration of block b will be equal to the acceleration a right so let's say that we are considering both the blocks together initially right so this is let's say block a and this is let's say block b so what will happen is that at some point and when they are released so the spring will apply the force on block a in this direction this will be the spring force and the weight of this will be m a g and this will be m b g and let's say that if i consider the normal force of the surface on both the blocks together right so let's say that somewhere here is that normal force which is acting on both the blocks this is the resultant of all the normal forces right so let's say that this is the normal force of the surface right so now if we apply the summation of forces summation of forces along x when we consider the free body diagram of both the blocks this is block a and this is block b right and this is will this will be equal to m times ax and since the surface is smooth there is no friction and as we know that the spring force is always equal to k times the change in length right so k and the change in length is this this is this is the change in length this is x minus d so we can write that this is x minus d 
So now if we consider both of these blocks, so the f of s is acting in the negative x direction if, if this is my positive x and y direction. So we can write that this is minus f of s and this will be equal to m since we are considering both the blocks together. So mass will m will be equal to the summation of both the masses right. So this will be m a plus m b times a x and both the blocks are moving with same acceleration. So then a x is equal to a and we can replace this f of s by this right f of s is k into x minus d. So this is k into x minus d. So from this equation we can write that acceleration is equal to minus k into x minus d divided by the summation of both the masses this is m a plus m b right. And now since we are required to determine the distance both the blocks slide on the smooth surface before they begin to separate right. So for this I will consider the block b the free body diagram of block b only right. So if we consider only block b then at any instant when they are released so if they are moving with some acceleration in this direction so what will happen is that this block a will apply the force on this block b so let's say that the this is the normal force of block a on this block b right and here this will be again the mass of this block b and this will be let's say and b right the surface reaction on this block B. So again if we consider only block B as a free body diagram and again if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x. So now as we can see that here we have only this normal force this reaction force of block A on block B in the positive x direction. So I will write plus n will be equal to now this will be the mass of block B right. So we can write that this is m B and a x is equal to a since both the blocks are moving with the same acceleration. So now this normal force of block A on block B will be equal to m B times a and this is a right. So we can write that this is minus k x minus d divided by m a plus m b and since we are required to determine the distance both blocks slides on the smooth surface before they begin to separate. So at separation this n the, uh, the force of block a on block b will become 0 when they become separate they will no more be in contact with each other. So at that particular instant n need to be equal to 0. So now as we can see that this m b this k this m a and this m b all of these are constants they cannot be equal to 0 right. So only this term can be equal to 0 right. So we can say that x minus d is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 right. When this becomes 0 so this whole thing will become 0 right 0 divided by anything will become 0. So from this we can say that at separation x will be equal to d. So now what does this mean is that if these blocks were compressed until this particular distance right. So then when both these blocks will move a distance of d back in this direction that is in the positive direction this is x equals to plus d right. So when both of these blocks moves a distance d from this compressed position then at that particular instant both these blocks will separate from each other. Now in the problem statement we are also required to find the velocity at that particular instant when they separate from each other right. So we have this acceleration equation. So we can apply the equation of kinematics we can say that v dv is equal to a dx since a is a function of x right. So this is v dv and we have that acceleration so this is minus k divided by m a plus m b these are constants 
and this is x minus d dx and then we need to integrate this right. So, the initial velocity is 0 since they start from rest and then the final velocity is v. Now, when the at, at this compressed position when, uh, when this is from here to here this is x. So, then at this particular point then this is x minus d right. So, we need to integrate this from x minus d to d since we have pressed this uh, block a and block b a distance of d and then if we move it back a distance of d. So, then it will be x equals to d right. So, then we have to integrate this from x minus d to d. So, then this will become v square divided by 2 from 0 to v and this is if I multiply this minus sign inside. So, this will become x minus d will become d minus x right. So, this is d minus x. So, now this is k divided by m a plus m b and if we integrate this. So, this will be d d x right. So, d d x will give us d x right. This d is that uh, deformation right remember and this is that integration d x. So, d into x minus x square divided by 2. So, this will be the result of the integration and the limits are from x minus d to d right. Now, we need to put these limits right. So, this will be k divided by m a plus m b and if I put these this limit. So, this will become d into d. So, this will become d square minus if I put d here. So, this will become d square divided by 2 minus then I need to put in place of x x minus d. So, this will be d into x minus d and then minus and instead of x we need to put x minus d. So, x minus d square divided by 2 and now I can write this as k divided by m a plus m b and if we remove these brackets. So, this will be d square minus d square this is minus into plus this will this is minus into plus. So, this will become minus and minus into minus will become plus. So, this will become plus and now we can simplify it further. So, this is d square minus d square divided by 2 and this will be minus d x plus d square and now we can write it like this as well 1 divided by 2 we can write it as 1 divided by 2 x minus d square and we can write it as x square plus d square minus 2 d x and if I multiply this 1 by 2. So, we need to write 2 in the numerator right. So, this will if I remove these brackets and then if I multiply 1 divided by 2. So, this will be x square divided by 2 this will be d square divided by 2 and this will be 2 d x divided by 2. So, we will be left with d x right. So, this is k divided by m a plus m b. Now, this will cancel out and we will be left with x square divided by 2 plus 2 d square and minus 2 d x minus 2 d x and here we have that v square divided by 2. Now, if I multiply both side by 2. So, we will be left with v square and this will become 2 k and now if I multiply these two inside. So, this will be 2 x square this will become 4 d square and this will become 4 d x right. I have multiplied the two inside. So, now we can write it like this. So, this will be this two will cancel out. So, we will be left with this and this is k divided by m a plus m b 
and we can write it as x square plus 2d square minus 2 into 2d into x. So, again we can see that this is k divided by ma plus mb and this will be x minus 2d square. So, now this is v square right and if I take the square root so then this will be the velocity equation in terms of x right. Now, at the separation let me write that v is k x minus 2 d square divided by m a plus m b under the square root. So, at separation we have determined that at separation x is equal to d. So, now we need to put since we want to find the velocity at that particular instant. So, we need to put x equals to d in this equation right. So, this is v this is k and this is d minus 2 d square divided by m a plus m b. So, we can write it as this will become minus d right d minus 2 d will become minus d this is minus d and this is k if we implement this square. So, this will become k d square divided by m a plus m b under the square root. So, this will be the velocity at the separation when x equals to d right and the separation will occur at x equals to d. So, this is the solution of this particular problem I hope you people would have understood this little bit complicated problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.